the sea of BBC. And it's really interesting because um, for the most part, I feel like there's a really small group, well, not a small group, but there's a subsect of social media, especially mum's social media, that has never let this lady forget her earlier comments that she made. I think during maybe the the peak of the pandemic, when everyone was struggling and really down bad, um, Molly May, one of the contestants from Love Island, who has now become a businesswoman in herself, in her own right, an influencer and stuff, she decided to go on this podcast and basically say, hey, we all have the same 24 hours to do what the hell we want with our careers and whatnot. Um, use your time wisely, work hard, and you can make your, you know, you could get here where I am as well, right? That kind of idea, that whole, you know, um, pull yourself up by a bootstrap sort of mentality. But to give her some ply, to give her some kind of cope or to give her some type of rope, if you listen to an entire interview, you would see in context, they were talking in generality about the sacrifices that she's made in her career to be as successful as she is. Because if I'm not mistaken, this Molly Mae Hay girl is like anywhere between like, I'm assuming 21 to 25. She's incredibly young, but incredibly successful despite her age. And I think she was saying in an interview something along the lines of, hey, I've had to give up on all the things people my age do and enjoy, like friends going out, getting fucked up and getting drunk, blah, 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 holidays all the time. I've given it all up to just focus on work. And this is why I'm that successful. That's kind of what I think she was getting at without getting into her own privilege and being white and looking at what she does. You know, forget all that stuff, right? I think that's what she was mostly going at. But obviously once she said it, it came out mad internet reacted you know savagely and she essentially hasn't been the same since perception wise online and this update is hilarious because the same person who said that we all had the same 24 hours is now stepping down from her role as pretty little thing if i'm not mistaken creative director which was a big deal at the time it's still a big deal now but the fact that this girl who essentially started off as an influencer doing hauls and stuff and try-ons and look what i bought look what they sent me suddenly got to a position where the brand itself um were hiring her to kind of come in and help craft you know the vision for the brand help to contribute to some ideas some fits some colors whatever it may be was a real big kind of come up so the fact that she said to quit that to focus on being a mum full time goes to show just how difficult it is to be a single mother and just how difficult it is to balance that with obviously working day to day and that all the kind of you know backlash she was getting from people online was some of it was you know over the top but most of it was coming from a real good place because a lot of those moms were saying hey I'm the same as you. I have all these entrepreneurial ideas. I'm as ambitious as you are. But sometimes if you have a legitimate human to look after, sometimes all those things go to the wayside. You just have to focus on that child until they're fucking 18. And then maybe you might start your career. And even then it's not a fucking guarantee. So this is literally a um, manifestation of this. So it says as follows. The Love Island star Molly May Hay, Molly May Hoog or Hog, Haug, I'm assuming his pronounced her name is like that, has said that she's stepping down from her role as creative director of fashion brand Pretty Little Thing after less than two years to focus on her being a mum. The influencer took on the reportedly big money role in August 2021 before joining, before going, uh, giving birth earlier this year. Like I said before, I think a lot of the backlash she got was a bit, little bit overblown, but I think a lot of it came around the time that we were all struggling, you know, as regular mega the people everyone was kind of like you know maybe getting fired maybe the dumbing down the roles working from home just struggling and then you got these people who are making crazy amounts of money from you know wearing shitty things and you know whatever not doing the you know, most hardest things in the world and then they're also telling you that you're not working hard enough if you want to be successful with me you need to work even harder despite all the things that you have to look after day to day that make it difficult to do that in the first place so i think that's probably why people were more angry than as opposed to what she actually said the circumstances around it were pretty bleak for everybody but anyway it continues she said while well, everything is going incredibly work-wise she went to commit fully to raising her daughter the 24 year old will continue to work as a brand ambassador for the company of course you can't you can't completely cut off the money speaking on a youtube channel haig said who met the partner boxer tommy fury on an itv dating show said that she would forever have the most insane relationship with her family a pretty little thing i'm still working with them and doing collections and edits but i have actually decided to step down as creative director role over the last few weeks i realized that i'm only going to get this time once for my firstborn child and i'm only going to get bambi being four months old once and i feel like i have to try to rearrange my life a little bit and lose some commitments that i didn't have i did have which i agree with i think if you're in a position that she is where you can essentially make your own hours and do what you want it's a real disservice to your family and to yourself if you don't take advantage of it 
and make it work for you. Whereas, you know, you can essentially spend more time with your kid at home, spend more time with your family, with your partner, or whatever it may be. You should actually do that if you can. Because there's kind of there's gonna come a point you would imagine, you know, when your star kind of dwindles and you're not as famous as big as you once were, maybe you're not as demand as you once were, where the thing kind of changes, you don't have the ability to decide what you do when you do it. You kind of have to, you know, do things based on what other people want you to do. So if you can do it now, why not take advantage of it? But again, it's also proof of how difficult it is to raise children, right? Because this girl has the means to have as much help as she can. She can hire as many Filipino, Mexican, African flipping child minors as she wants these aunties to come in and basically take a lot of stress off her hands. Maybe some family could come in also, but you could pay them if you want to. But all those, you know, abilities and tools to your arsenal it's still difficult to do and you would also imagine on top of that think about this this role that she does a pretty little thing most likely she's got a pretty good rep over there i'm assuming no pun intended she probably well liked to the point where they're still willing to keep on as ambassador there's probably an arrangement they could have easily made where she could have done an easy kind of you know very reduced hour type of role and kept the title or just phoned it in so it does say a lot about the person herself that she would voluntarily step down and not just take the money from doing nothing and it also says a lot about the relationship that she has with those people that they would be willing to keep as an ambassador but also it shows you quite clearly that even with all the money in the world all the access and whatever you want even with a job that you can essentially do it from anywhere in the world you don't have to be in the office all the time the stresses and the stresses and strains of raising a child is still really really extensive it continues here it says she went on to say that she loved being the creative director of plt more than anything stressed that there had been no drama and nothing bad has going on it was simply that it was an amazing chapter of her life and naturally come to an end i'm a mum now and i never really gave myself maternity leave and i got straight back into work instantly because my work is my phone and showing my life is my work the last thing i would want to be in this role that i can't fulfill right now in this moment her departure comes two months after long-standing preloading fan that umar kamai left the boho group to pursue new opportunities so it's pretty cool but again if i'm not mistaken that salary if i saw online was like something like four hundred thousand a month or something which is insane i don't you know it's, you're hearing like only nowadays are you seeing like with content creation social media stuff you're hearing of people getting what you would get in a salary per year they're getting it per month that's when you know the money online in marketing and media and all that stuff and content is crazy so she allegedly she was getting that kind of money um per month but still it wasn't enough to, of a pour to kind of get her to kind of phone it in and just kind of you know um do the bare minimum and collect checks because clearly spending time with a kid and growing that kid up is probably way 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 more important um to flip and make that flip and make sense so big up her in general but again it is quite funny to see that all that kind of 24 hour chat has kind of gone out the window um and there's going to be a certain segment unfortunately of social media that's never going to actually forgive her for that comment because i feel like you know maybe mums online feel like there's like a sisterhood that connects them all together motherhood that connects them all together of going through that struggle they know how painful it is and even if you've got money you know you kind of recognize the pain and the struggle of everybody so she maybe spoke down on them too soon and they never forgot given her for it uh, but i don't think she was pregnant at the time maybe she wasn't sure at the time she was pregnant when she made that comment but it also goes to show that you can there's two ways to do it you can do it where you actually raise your kid yourself or you can do it in a way where like the Kardashians do where you don't really care about raising the kid yourself you have people to help you but then you're still kind of like there right you're, you kind of act as like the creative director of your family essentially you have people running the show for you day to day but you're still there to kind of oversee give the final word on what not or what needs to go down that maybe is another way to kind of do it but if you actually want to be hands-on with your child and raise them then unfortunately you probably do have to take a step back especially if you have the ability to and devote more time to them if possible but big up molly may regardless takes a lot of balls to do that especially knowing what the negative tobacco she was probably going to get and again you know hopefully it goes well for her in the future hopefully it does go well yeah so this is a courtesy of the instagram account called techno.germany that i've recently stumbled across 